Hello everyone. Today I thought I would release some timely content um, for Doom's Iron Grip. Um, as some of you have paid attention, there was a recent game update that changed the algorithm for troop movement of back row and middle row. And so, as expected, you would need to make some changes to your Doom's Iron Grip. Remember, the optimum setting in the past was when you set your fleet, you send um, maximum back row and then just enough zombies um, to absorb eight hits. Um, now that has changed. And so I'm going to demonstrate what I think um, from my testing and a couple of different accounts is the best formation. Um, as you know, um, you know, you can look at your troops. So first you want to set it to zero. You can toggle it here in the top left button here where it says all troops. You can look at it. And, you know, what I found out is that now because of that troop movement, it's very similar to elite zombie formation, except unlike elite zombie, um, so I'm going to set one of each of front row. So that's my recommendation is front row. So unlike Elite Zombie, Doom's Iron Grip doesn't hit as hard. So the, the, the Elite Zombie formation, you are trying to buy enough hits so that, you know, he, he doesn't one hit everything. Um, in Doom's Iron Grip, he doesn't hit hard enough. So you actually, what is giving your max damage is, is um, absorbing enough hits in these first four hits uh, but in the near middle row, I found out that nothing really is, is that important in middle row except for maximum zombies. And why maximum zombies is important is because that maximum zombies is free units in your fleet and give you additional damage. So because they don't count towards your max fleet, these maximum zombies are what gives you damage. And this is also the reason why I say that when you do your research on zombies, you want to research attack versus, you know, HP or defense. And then let's go to back row. So, uh, oh, sorry, uh, back row. Yeah, so if you look at your back row, you want to get your maximum, your hardest hitting back row troops. And really, it doesn't matter whether you include one or not. So as we'll see in a, in a moment when you look at the demonstration. So um, here in this account, it's not T10. Um, I'm going to show a T10 one, and then I'm going to um, uh, talk about a T11 as well. So in, in a T9 account, your strongest account, uh, uh, sorry, your strongest troop is going to be your uranium cannons or your T9 cannons. So if you have those, max out those, and if that fills your fleet, then you're, you're good to go. If, you, if, you, if that does not fill your fleet, then you can fill the rest with snipers. Even though the game thinks shielders are stronger, they are not, because essentially, you know, the ability of snipers, uh, uh, of that, you know, focus shot that gives the extra damage is what makes them stronger than, than shielders. So T9 cannon, second would be T8 snipers, and third would be this T8 laser, so if you, if you have those. So you can see I've maxed out the fleet. Now let's go back and toggle and look at uh, the whole fleet, and let's hit send. So what does that look like? If you click on this fleet here, look at the details. So essentially I'm saying include your titans, include your maximum zombies allowed, include one of each of the front row, so, so four, tr four types there, and the rest would be you know, whatever you can fill your strongest fleet with. And the order would be T11 cannons, then T10 snipers, then T9 cannons, um, then, uh, sorry, T10, uh, T9, T10 snipers, and then T10 laser cannons, and then T9 uranium cannons, and then T8 snipers. That's the order of your damage-based back, back row troop. So let's watch that battle. So here you can see he comes in, he essentially one shots these, these front row troops of one each. And that gives you, you know, four rounds of damage avoidance of your um, zombies. Then he hits the zombies. See, you know, in elite zombie, he one shots the zombies here. Even if you have, you know, 14 or 15 K, he one shots it here. Um, you're, you're essentially buying enough time to get as much uh, zombies to do damage as possible. So that's what I found is the optimum damage. So the, the remainder of the middle row troops doesn't matter. Um, and let me, let me show you that in a T10 account, which is mine. Uh, 
uh, just logging in here. I already have the battles done so we can see them. Um, This is this is essentially the elite zombie formation that I that I sent before, and the damage difference was really really small, so it's not that important um, to distinguish. But you know, actually removing these these one troops here of you know the 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 one bike, the one um, uh, rocket launcher, the one gunner, um, you know, you get slightly extra damage. But this one essentially works. The shielder, you know, uh, all of these troops. Uh, what the game logic is based on is that, um, you know, just get, you have a limited number of population unlike um, Mother of Doom, and so you want to send the, the maximum damage per population.